Hello and welcome to WTF, where we help you transform food in your kitchen. I'm Janie. I'm Roman. And on this channel, we talk about unique ingredients, techniques, and show you new recipes that you can do in your kitchen. And today, it's been a while, so we decided we're gonna do keto today. Back so we to are, keto. yeah, we are showcasing a brand new recipe for keto empanadas. And I'm gonna spoil it and just say it's spectacular. It's amazing. Oh. So, Roman, let's just go right into the recipe because I'm so excited to show how easy it is to make delicious, crispy, crunchy, yummy empanadas. Let's do it. We'll go to the usual suspects. Okay. All right, we got our fruit processor going. Pork rinds, ground down, our almond flour, salt, konjac, powder. We'll give that a couple of pulses just to get it all together. And I kind of like that I've, I've now converted you over to pork rinds. Yes, I was not a believer, but now mm -hmm. I am in your cult. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, that's nice and combined. So we are going to add our egg. Mm -hmm. Doesn't work unless you do that. He's so excited about <laughs> the empanada. All right, now we're going to add our melted cheese. Incorporate that. And then last but not least, we are gonna, I'll just give us a quick mix. All right, what's in there? That's our water and our calcium hydroxide. And that is going to help gel our konjac powder. Yep, so you might have seen this recipe, a similar version of it when we did keto pizzas. That was kind of the starting point of this, but we did tweak it because yep. we needed, in this case, a dough that we can fold and we can seal. See that coming together nicely. Make it a nice dough. All right. That looks like it's good. So we'll just get our dough into our bowl. And I'm work. I'm trying to work. Uh, not. You don't have to be too quick, but this does start gelling um, pretty quickly once the hydroxide is introduced to the cognac. So mm -hmm. you kind of want to work. Quickly, not too fast. Um, and I'd say from the experiments that I've done, I'd say you got probably about a half an hour to 35 minutes before that dough is so set that you can't make the oh, okay. empanada. So. All right, so do we start making empanadas right away? or What we'll do is we will, we will portion our, our doughs, mm -hmm. we'll weigh them out, and then we'll let them rest for about eight to 10 minutes. Okay. Once that's happened, it'll be very easy to make our empanadas. If you try to do it too early, the dough is still a little bit very, very soft, and what it'll do, it'll, it'll pancake out when you're pressing it down. Okay. All right, I weigh these out to about 40 grams per, per ball. Okay, and that's just because of the size of the empanada. Exactly, right. yeah. The, you, could, you could make them as big or as small as you want them to, to make, but when you're using, I'm gonna be using the empanada press, and when you're using the empanada press, you wanna have a little bit more because you're gonna press it, and if it's too short, it won't seal. Mm -hmm. And so you give yourself a little excess, but I'm gonna show you guys a little trick, because whatever's left in excess, if you do it within the time frame, you can roll it back up and make more empanadas. Okay, cool. And so today we're making empanadas, because what we found was that for this particular type of dough, we're like, we can make dumplings, but really frying them end up being the best much, way to eat them. Much better. Because I was like, oh, you can make dumplings, but boiling them but boil would not oh, be that good. Big yeah. time, mm -hmm. big time. And the, the, the early experiments that we, we did do when we baked them in the oven didn't come out as great as they did when we fried them. Mm -hmm. Frying was definitely by far the best. Yep, and I know now people are like, can you air fry? Again, we don't quite recommend it for this recipe. Not for this recipe. Yeah, you want to really have it brown up, as you'll see once yep. we make it. All right, now we are just about ready to make our keto empanadas. But first, I do want to remind you to subscribe and like and hit that notification button Ding. because, as always, we're going to make more recipes. And if there's anything that you want to see us make, leave it in the comments below. Right below. Yeah, so I know that Cole just said maybe, uh, maybe a pretzel. I so, like the so idea. We'll see. I we'll love, see. A, love a good pretzel. All right. A keto pretzel? We'll see. Maybe. We'll see. <laughs> yeah. All right. So we got these balls and right. we were just poking them like a yep. second ago. And like I said, you see them starting to firm up. These yep. are right about where you want to start making the empanadas. Okay. You don't want to do Definitely it Definitely got some body to yep. them. All right. So let's do it. Very easy. Right. I have my tortilla press. I have a couple of pieces of 
of plastic wrap, and mm -hmm. I'm just gonna press these right in between, like so. And this will be our, I'll take a look. I think that's Perfect. wide enough. Yeah. All right, and that comes off right easily off of this bad boy. That feels great. And we're gonna put it right in the center here. And we're gonna take our, very important to have your filling ready, but not only ready, room temperature, because if your filling is too cold, it'll poke right through the dough, which okay. I've had happen a few times. All right, and what are we, what are we so doing with, the So this is our today? cheeseburger filling, which Ooh. I believe was your idea. Yes, <laughs> it's because they make one of those Coco's Tacos down the street, which I love. It's not yep. keto, but it's, it's not a keto. cheeseburger empanada, and it's one of my favorites, so I was like, if we're gonna do keto, we might as, might well, as well do cheeseburger. But All we right. have a couple of other special empanadas that we are yes, showing we you do. in a minute. All right, now we wanna close our empanada up, turn it to the side, and then we have that. Oh, and that's it's, so cool. And that's beautiful, that's a beautiful empanada. We'll just mm -hmm. set that up right there, and we'll keep this, because we can put these together, and we can make another empanada. So don't, we won't, no, waste not, want not. Yeah. Wait's not want that. And as Roland had mentioned already, so you can kind of see he's working with speed because you can't keep this dough late. Exactly. But I would say I've timed it to about 30, maybe 35 minutes before it sets up too much and you can no longer seal it and it begins to crack. That's how you know when it's starting to, okay. to get bad. It'll but once crack. you make them, can you then freeze them and cook yes. them later? Yes. Yes. I have frozen them. I have refrigerated them up to a week, and they still fried up fine, right out of the, right in the freezer to the fryer, perfect. Okay. So no problems there. And um, I haven't really tested how long they could last in the freezer. Mm -hmm. I've only done it for two weeks, but it seemed to be fine coming out of the freezer yeah. after two weeks. All right, so let's make all of these really quickly here. You don't have to work too fast. Don't work too fast because you might mess up. But um, you want to definitely do it between the time frame. All right, let's fry these guys up. Yeah. So we have our cheeseburger. Mm -hmm. We have our carnitas. Ooh. Yeah, I'm excited for this one. And we have our duck confit. What? Yeah. He did a fancy one. Yes. Mm -hmm. And all right, now that they're in there, I have no idea which one's which. <laughs> I was just about to say, I was like, there's like little markings on them. I, sh I should have done that, but I didn't. Um, but we can cut them open and we'll figure, we'll figure it out later about that. So we're going to fry these to golden brown. All right, we've been smelling these empanadas frying for the last five or six minutes. They smell Brilliant. amazing. And Brilliant. as you can see, golden brown, perfectly. Crispy. We don't know which one's which, so we're going to crack into them one <laughs> by one and taste them. All right, here we go. Let's first one. That looks like. Is that carnitas? That's the, I think that's the. I think that's duck. I think that's oh. the duck. Let's see. Oh, we forgot the sweet and sour sauce. Uh, I'll go grab it real quick. Okay. I'll be right back. And there's our sweet and sour. Ooh, okay. And this is a keto, sugar-free, sugar-free, sweet and sour sauce. Mm. Mmm, it's so good. That's really good, actually. Holy crap. This is the first time I've had this one. Wow. Oh my god. This crust is wow. perfectly crispy. Mm -hmm. It's tender. It's not flaky because you flaky. can't really get that well, with, not, keto. Yeah, not with keto. But it is just like chewy. That's, it has a fantastic texture. It's, that's as you can really see, good. it's Holy not crap. falling apart. Nope. You know? And this duck is amazing. This so, is really good. Yeah, all of these recipes will be on the blog, blog.modernistpantry.com, link yep. in the description below. So go check them out. This duck is phenomenal. Man, that's good. Mm -hmm. I have to say, I have to be. Mm. Wow. I didn't expect it. I mean, the cheeseburger one that we tried out earlier was really good when we were te mm, in testing so phase, good. but these are amazing. You're like, it's not like I made these recipes. <laughs> 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 All right, let's do the next one. I can't like eat three empanadas. Okay, let's go. Mm -hmm. mm. Number two. You're so good. All right. All right, that's a carnita. Okay. All right. Mmm. I'm. You know what? Whoever made these, I'm gonna get them a raise. <laughs> 
I really like this too, but I also love this sweet and sour that sauce. That sweet and sour sauce is, is actually and really I good too. I kind of want to dip this into do that. It, do no, it. No, I'm going to double do it. Already do it. Do it. All right. Do it. But this again, as you can see, this crust is perfect. So, of course, we're putting in here a few of our favorite fillings. Add in whatever mm. you want. Right, I'm going to double dip. Okay. Okay. Double dip in. Mmm. Really good. Wow. Okay. Mmm. Mmm. Like, this crust, it does not taste like pork rinds. Nope. It does not taste like cheese. Like, it's just perfectly flavorful and rich, and it complements the fillings so Big time. It's well. very crispy, but... It's very mm. crispy, but mm. super soft on the inside. Yeah. I think that's, like, the dip... Like, look at that. You can hear that. Hello. Hello. Okay. All right. And last but not least, our cheeseburger. The cheeseburger. Now, this was your request. This was my, your this request. Was my pick. So, yeah. Mmm. Man. This need, one's still really good too. Just need some ketchup with this. Oh yeah. I will say ketchup. I think I think this sauce would I'm gonna dip this into this sauce. You try that one? I'm afraid to, I'm afraid for that yep. one. I don't know. I think I'm gonna skip that one. Mm. It's better with the duck, but I still like it. This is a fantastic mm. recipe. Wow, really good. You don't have to be keto to enjoy it, but nope. if you are keto, you're like, I miss having these types of foods. I miss having a nice empanada. Yeah. yeah. Now this is the recipe for you. Go get it in the link in the description below. This is this is keto magic, is what this is. Keto it really magic. Is. It really is. Keto magic. Can't believe it. <laughs> so until wow. next week, from here in the Modernist Pantry Test Kitchen, I'm Janie. I'm Roman. <laughs> I can feel it. I'm like fully wide awake. <laughs> He's like, oh. <laughs> okay, sorry. Okay. But yeah. Just become conscious of how energetic I feel. No, I got it. Yeah. Testimonial. Yeah. No, that's <laughs> legit. Legit. <laughs>